you. You're kind of, they're kind of like jabs in the face. See, there was a time when we toured. Nobody grabbed it, Nick. Nobody grabbed it. There was a time when we toured, right? When all of you were like teenagers. And you would have pulled each other's hair out for that. Now you don't even want it. Did anybody used to follow us around the world? Anybody here has traveled over especially from Ireland or... Anybody from Ireland living here in Canada? Anybody from the UK living here in Canada? Any Canadians in the room? Anybody originally from Asia in the room? thought somebody had walked in. You thought Harry Styles walked in, right? You were like, who the hell has come in with that screen? Yeah, so we've, um, we've been 25 years together and we've had some amazing memories from all the countries in the world that we've been lucky enough to travel to and, and, uh, and perform songs to. Like, Lay My Love On You is a big hit all over, outside of the UK and Ireland, all over Asia and China and different places. And to sing it here for you guys tonight is pretty special, so, so that's, uh, that's something I want to mention. I also want to mention the front row because I don't think we've ever done a show where people are this close. <laughs> How many times have we spat on you at this point? <laughs> I think we were over there for ABBA and I definitely think the three of us spat on people by mistake. So I'm going to take the opportunity to apologize. Right. All the lads in the room, because I do notice there's lots of guys in the room tonight who are probably here for the first time, right? Front row, losing his Westlake virginity tonight, everybody in the front row. And what's funny is the lads, years ago, they would never, ever come to a Westlake show. 25 years later, now they're married or with their girlfriend or boyfriend. And I'm like, yeah, I'll go on to Westlake. No problem. And now you're singing all the words. So we've kind of shared the 25 years together, haven't we? We've enjoyed it, haven't we? So far, it's been amazing. So when the idea came up um, to try and tour in North America and Canada, we never, we had no idea, genuinely had no idea how this would go. Would we sell one ticket? And on our 10,000 tickets, we didn't know. So on the day it went on sale, we were on the phone to our management all day going, well, how's it going? How's it, you know, are we brilliant? Are we terrible? And you guys have shown us so much support that we've sold out three nights right here. That's what we're and for us, it's another, another milestone, another box ticked in the career of Westlife. And this feels like uh, I don't think it feels like the beginning of Westlife, that may be a stretch. But it definitely feels like the beginning of something new, so we plan to come back to Canada. I don't know when, but we're going to come back. Okay? Now before we move on with the show, there's two things I want to do. Firstly, it's been very strange, a couple of weeks for us obviously losing Mark. So I think we should take the opportunity to give our buddy a big cheer, everybody. Give Mark a big cheer. And when you lose a member, you know, it's, it's a little bit tougher, things have got to change. And like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's been a little bit different, a little bit tough. But I want to take the opportunity to, uh, to thank our family who are here tonight, our wives, our children, who have been so supportive through the last four weeks, three weeks. Thank you so much, guys. They're in the room, so I'm not going to point them out, but thank you. We love you. Thank you very much. So too. To Rocco, Jay, and G, and my three kids, my wife Georgina, and then guys, I don't want to forget anyone's names, here we go. Say it, Nicole, Patrick, and Shane, Kobe, Zeke, and Koa, Jody, and Julian. That's it, that's it. That's it. Well done, Thanks guys, we love you. 
You saw me at Wembley. Did you not see these two? Oh, you saw them all. You, it wasn't just me you were looking at. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Now, before we go, I want to use my phone because we do this around the world, okay? I want to do a little video and stick it up on Instagram. Is that okay with everybody? Anybody?